Hi, James at CG Cars here with a walk around video of our 2016 Volkswagen Golf 1.6 diesel match. It's a really nicely specced out the car. This we're going to go around it in detail, show you all the features. It's in fantastic condition inside and out. So the purpose of our walk around video is to show you exactly what you'd be coming to see if you come out. So we will go back around it as I said panel by panel. Apologies if it gets repetitive at all. There's only so many ways you can describe paint. But starting in the front of the car, headlights, lovely and clear, no yellowing, no condensation, no cracks, no water ingress. Same thing with your lower lights down here. Looking across the front of the bumper here, there's no real stone chips to talk of at all. It's all in really nice condition. Across the bonnet here, there's a couple of small stone chips, but nothing too bad at all the paintwork's nice and reflective all your badges on the front here are good there's no peeling of the chrome or discoloring at all your lower grills nice there's no damage to the plastics at all you got your front parking sensors on the go there as well so front end really really good condition moving to the passenger side the passenger wing that no need to note any paintwork damage there at all either or on the corner of the bumper alloys in excellent condition no curbing no flaking of the paint, loads of tread on the tyre there. The wing mirror cap, again excellent, I don't need to note any scrapes there. Passenger door, again really good. No paintwork damage really to note there at all, there's not really any chips down the edge of the door either from being opened onto anything. The rear passenger door, again excellent, I don't need to note any dings, dents, scrapes or scratches. Coming to the rear quarter again, excellent. No dings, dents. There's a very light scratch there, but actually we can polish that out. We've just missed that in our prep, so we'll pick that up and polish that out, but it's not into the paint at all. It's just sitting on top. The rear alloy again, excellent. No curbing damage. No flake into the paint. Plenty of tread on the tyre again. So all down the side of the car, there's no real paintwork to note at all. It's in really, really good condition. Corner of the bumper again, free of scrapes and scratches. We look across the roof, there's no dings or dents to note there at all. The rear spoiler's in good condition. The corner of the bumper here has got a couple of light little scratches in it, just there. Badging is nice, again, no peeling of that. Sometimes the chrome can peel away. There's some marks across the top edge of the bumper here from loading the boot, which is to be expected at this age, but again, nothing outrageous. Your rear lights again, nice and clear. No cracking or damage to those at all. The driver's corner of the bumper is free of any scrapes and scratches on that side. That's excellent. The quarter panel here, again, no paintwork damage to note there. So I'd get repetitive, didn't I? The alloy wheel, no curbing, no paint damage at all. Plenty of tread on that tyre again. Rear passenger door on the driver's side. There is no dings or dents or scrapes or scratches to note there either. As with the driver's door, there's some very light little scratches just there, if I'm being picky. But overall, excellent, the wing mirror cap has a very, very small mark there. We might have a touch up pen that we can touch that in with, but nothing outrageous again. And finally, the front wing on the driver's side, again, no dings, dents, scrapes or scratches to note in the alloy again. Excellent order. Plenty of tread on the tyre again. So overall, I would say excellent condition. Some very light marks on the back of the bumper from loading, but around the rest of the car, it's all excellent. All a good colour match all the way around. No obvious paintwork that's been done. All the alloys are excellent. They're pretty much unmarked. Really nice nick. So let's take a look at the interior. So inside the car again, really nice nick. No stains or tears or burns on the seat to note at all if we start going through the spec of the car we've got all round electric windows we've got electric mirrors that are also heated with fold as well on the steering wheel you've got your bluetooth controls and your cruise control all in good condition it's not worn through at all all the buttons very clear on what they do all the buttons around the gear lever there are as well you've got your parking sensors Automatic stop start on and off. You've got your electronic handbrake there, your air conditioning, heated seats, sat nav with Bluetooth, 
and parking camera as well in that. All the plastics are really nice. They're not all scraped up and scratched. The carpets are in good order. A bit dirty here from me getting in and out of the car. But all the dash is really nice. All the dials nice and clear still. The steering wheel has very little wear to it. Going to the back of the car again. Seats are in nice order. No obvious burns, stains or tears on them at all. Carpets, again, very good condition. All the plastics are free of scraping and scratching. Under the bonnet we have the 1.6 diesel. Really good unit this. Owners report an average of 64 miles to the gallon and it is zero road tax. So super low cost motoring. Volkswagen diesel engines of course are renowned for going on to do huge mileages if you keep the servicing up. So exact mileage is 106,863. If we turn the key there, we've got two remote keys. Starts up on the button. We've got the warning for a low tire. We've got tire pressure monitoring, so we'll get that sorted. But no other warnings on the dashboard other than that, other than the fact that I've not got my seatbelt on and the uh, handbrake is on. See, it idles nicely, exactly where it should be. If we give it a blip of the throttle. Revs cleanly. Settles back to where it should be. If we look on the dashboard here, we've got our sat nav. If I pop it into reverse, if we look on the screen here, we've got reversing camera. So, overall, we've got a golf that's in really nice condition inside and out, fully loaded up with spec. Fantastic that it's zero road tax and gives you really good MPG. I said the owners report an average of 64 miles to the gallon as average, so I'd do way more than that on long runs. We'll be coming out with a national warranty that can be used at any VAT registered garage. We can offer finance and part exchange. Should you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. And please check us out online. You'll find we are five star rated both on Google and on Facebook. Many thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you soon.